Welcome to E Know How. In this video, we will look at uh, resistor power dissipation and power rating. So, let us look at a take a resistor whose resistance is R and then we connect it across a say DC voltage source V voltage V and then we close the switch. We close the switch. We know that the the voltage is dropped across the resistor and the current flowing through this circuit I is V over R. So now if you look at the power power is voltage times current and this is in volts in amperes and the power is in watts. So let us look at the power here P is V times I and we know that I is V over R. So power is V square over R that is the V the total if the total V is dropped across the resistor then it is V square over R or we can write it in terms of current. So we know we can write V is I times R so power is VI is I times R multiplied by I is I square R. So power is the power dissipated in the resistor is V square over R that is equal to I square R. So now let us take an example. Let us take an example say the voltage V is 4 volts and the resistance R is 100 ohms. So the total all the 4 volts is dropped across the resistor. So the current flowing through the resistor is 4 volts divided by 100 ohms which is 4000 millivolts divided by 100 ohms. So that is 40 milliamps. So 40 milliamps flows through the circuit. So now if we calculate the power P is V times I which is V is 4 volts multiplied by 40 milliamps that is 160 milliwatts. So the power for this example we calculated the, the power to be 160 milliwatts. So now let us look at what resistor ratings are. So resistors are rated usually for some particular wattage and usually resistors are available say 1 fourth watt which is 250 milliwatts and then you have say half watt which is 500 milliwatts and then it goes higher you go 5 watt resistors you can have those. So now let us see how uh, how can a resistor say B 100 ohms and still have all these different power ratings like 5 watts, a half watt or you could have a 1 fourth watt. So how does that work? So for this we have to go back to our look at the video on resistance resistivity. So when you look at it resistance R is written as rho L over A. So where, where L is the length and A is the cross sectional area, area of the cross section. Area of cross section. So now let us take two resistors formed with the same material. This rho is the resistivity 
of the material. So, let us take two resistors formed with the same material. So, we will take one resistor which has a cross sectional area A here and we have a length L and R is rho L over A. So, we call it L1 A1. So, L1 over A1. Now, we take another resistor which has a bigger cross sectional area, but it is also longer. Now, we will choose this A2 and L2 such that L1, L1 over A1 is equal to L2 over A2. So, R is rho L2 over A. So, this is R1, R2, which is nothing but R1. So, these two resistors, even though physically they look different, so the, the one is smaller, it has a, a smaller length and a smaller cross sectional area, and this has a longer length and a bigger cross sectional area, but the ratio of the length to the cross sectional area is the same. L1 over A1 is L2 over A2. So, now if you look at these two, the L, the, the resistor R2 would have a larger power rating. So, this would have say for example, say this is a 2 watt rating and say example this may be 1 fourth watt. So, if you have the bigger, the more material in the resistor, it can dissipate more heat. So, uh, you have larger power rating. So, if you see the resistors, they would be larger, the ones with the larger power rating would be larger in size too. So, now what, what happens if you put excessive voltage or if you exceed the mm, if you exceed, say for example, you have a resistor looks like this, something like this with all the stripes on it and then you put a voltage source connected to say a 9 volt battery or something. So, you connect it to a 9 volt battery for example. So, and now what happens is if excessive current flows through the resistor, if the I is excessive current flows through the resistor, it, it kind of catches fire because it, you exceed the wattage. So, it catches fire and then it would usually become an open, most likely will become an open. So, the resistance is destroyed. So, we always make sure that we should use the, the resistor. When we choose the resistances, we should choose the right uh, you know, wattage. Even in integrated circuits, like you know, R is RS sheet resistance, L over W. So, we can choose larger L's and W's to actually, uh, you know, carry more current. So, if you need a resistance, say R1 and R2 is of the same material, say polysilicon and then it has L2 over W2 and this is L1 over W1 and L2 is greater than L1 and W2 is greater than W1 but L1 over W1 is same as L2 over W2. So, if this is the same then what happens is you, you can use this R2 resistor for carrying more current for carrying more current. You can put more voltage across that resistor. So, it has essentially larger wattage. If you see this is on integrated circuits. So, this is the video about power dissipation and power rating of resistors.